typically when you buy components from people, you do have to have a, a way of sourcing and figuring out what parts we want to buy, who we want to buy them from, and whether they meet certain regulatory compliance. The component engineering application that we have with Aeris Innovator, we've partnered with IHS, which has a cloud application for keeping track of and hunting down all this manufacturer information, data sheets, and details about parts. There's several levels to the component engineering tool. Right now, what we're going to do is just show you how you can do a search. If I wanted to source capacitors, I'm looking to purchase new capacitors. I could take a look at that. What I want to show you real quick is that this actually went out to the cloud. That was a very obviously a very uh, broad search. As you can see, it returned. There's millions of parts in the cloud application. But a couple important parts about CE, you'd never know. It looks just like you've never left, left Aris Innovator, but it did go to the cloud. And what it did was return to me the results of my, in that case, very broad search. But what it bubbled to the top is the things with the green uh, dots on them are parts that we already, capacitors that we've already used and brought into the Aeris Innovator system that we're using and they're already approved parts that are being used. You also see in the yellow any manufacturer that we already buy from. If you need to use a different capacitor, I can't find anything that meets my needs, I need something that's REACH compliant and I can search further and there's there's a particular one that I have to, that I need to select that isn't currently uh, an approved part. Again, if I still go with an approved manufacturer, we have already have them in our system, we already buy from them, so it's going to be an easier part to get approved. So with the component engineering, a uh, couple things we bring to the table, the ability to filter your searches, search through millions of parts, find the one that fits your needs. You can see here there's a ton of different fields that I can search on to narrow that down to the right part that I want to buy. So here you can see I've searched for that manufacturer part. In this case, it is related to a particular internal part number. So again, the out-of-the-box functionality supports having manufacturer part numbers we keep track of, but then relating them to our own internal part number. Here you can see we have access to the latest data sheet available. And again, I don't need to keep that up to date. That actually comes from that IHS solution, so I know I always have the latest and greatest data sheet. It eliminates somebody who is in a component engineering role having to hunt down all this information and hunt down all the manufacturers and get that latest information. This way, being hooked to the IHS database, you always know you have the latest and greatest information and aren't going to use non-compliant parts, aren't going to use uh, end-of-life parts or things that are no longer or discontinued or anything of that nature.